what we found in this study was that uh, uh, a, a large proportion of the study participants who were positive uh, at the beginning of the study uh, and eight, eight months after the initial uh, uh, infections, uh, many people still have antibody, which means a, a kind of protective immunity, uh, like one of the longest studies. Uh, yeah, they seem to suggest that herd immunity may kick in earlier than previously thought. Can we read that into this? Uh, yeah, but one has to be very careful about that. Uh, what we saw is uh, this is a, a very interesting uh, study population, and uh, they, there was a very high seroprevalence. Uh, the combination of seroprevalence and the preventive measures which the population uh, uh, is um, holding on, I think it's the, the combination of the two which is uh, helping prevent the infection uh, in this region and not just the 45% or 50% we saw. Now, have you had these your findings peer-reviewed and are you going to cross-reference what you've uh, found in your report with other countries? Uh, uh, the, it, it's very interesting. We are not the largest study uh, uh, or, or the first study to publish uh, or to work on this uh, information. Uh, there are uh, other studies as well, but very interesting is that what we found uh, correlates uh, very uh, strongly with the findings from uh, uh, many uh, a few other studies which have been uh, uh, coming out like uh, uh, weeks ago, for example, in England, there's one large study which says like 88% of the population uh, after six months, we, they still have uh, an immunity. So um, uh, it's very comparable. So our large study kind of supports uh, the findings uh, uh, which has been uh, found in other studies as well.